Good Monday evening. I'm Certified Meteorologist Nick Kelly in for Doug Hetty tonight. We have started off with quite a cloudy day, but we got a break in the clouds. It won't be long, though, before not only we see some patchy, dense fog develop in some spots tonight, but definitely we will have more cloud cover start to work back in as we go into your Tuesday. From 7th and Range Line, though, just before the top of the 10 o'clock hour, we had quiet skies, traffic moving along just fine. The official numbers from the airport in Joplin had a starting only at 43 and only managing to go to 51 this afternoon. So not much of a warm-up. Despite that, both numbers are above what's considered normal for this time of the year, be it the normal low of 27 and our average high of 46. At about 9.52, almost 9.53 in Joplin, we had the airport checking in at 44 with the south breeze at 10. That's what's helping keep our temperatures up. On the flip side, though, it is giving us a wind chill, making it feel like we're in the upper 30s in Joplin. The humidity pretty maxed out at 96%, if not almost maxed out, rather. We will see temperatures continue to hold in the mid-40s, which was how most of us have fared just before the top of the 10 o'clock hour. And with that south breeze bringing us more moisture, I would not be surprised if, again, we have some patchy dense fog overnight before the clouds worked back in. It was a quiet day overall in the Skywatch Storm Tracker. Even with clouds this morning, we've had a quiet day overall, a nice break in the cloud cover today. But, again, it's going to be short-lived because even though it looks quiet overall across the central and southern plains, we have our next upper-level low sitting in uh, Arizona and New Mexico almost right on the state line, really, that will head our way, which will eventually up our cloud cover and even some rain chances as we go into Tuesday. For tonight and for most of your Tuesday, though, even as the system edges closer, we are going to keep Tuesday dry overall, especially during the morning and in the afternoon. It's not until Tuesday evening and going into your Wednesday morning. That is when the crux of the system passes on by and it will be close enough to give us at least a shot for some scattered rain as we go into Wednesday morning. After that, we're quiet for the rest of your Wednesday and staying quiet for Thursday, your first official day of winter. And as we officially roll into the winter season this week, our eyes will focus on our next vigorous upper-level low. That will really want to dig deep into the southwestern United States. As it does, the jet stream will be in that southwest flow, and it will do two things for us. It will bring one system in going into Friday. That could be, uh, mean rather maybe a quick shot for rain Friday morning, but that first system going into Friday will definitely start to bring in the colder Arctic air. Saturday, I'm thinking maybe 30s for highs as we keep things quiet. Maybe another system could sneak in on Sunday. As it does, this run of the future track wants the possibility of some snow to work in here for your Christmas Eve. Then as we go into Christmas Day, this run of the future track wants us looking quiet with partly the mostly sunny skies, but looking downright cold with the way temperatures want to set up. With that said, I want to stress because systems like these in the winter time are notorious for doing this, they always love to change their minds regarding when they want to move in, where they want to track, if they have enough moisture to work with and enough moisture to determine if we have enough to bring in rain or snow. So with all of that in mind, the weekend forecast is not yet set in stone. I guarantee you, Doug and I will continue to make tweaks to the forecast as we get closer to the holiday weekend. So as long as you keep checking back in, you'll know what to expect as we zero in on the holiday. But I can definitely say this for sure. As we head toward the Christmas holiday and going almost right up to the new year, it will definitely be cold as we begin to wrap up 2017 next week. Temperatures for the overnight hours will hold in the mid-40s with patchy dense fog developing in some spots first before the cloud cover works in by the time we head back to work in the morning. As we go through the day, it'll definitely be a mostly cloudy day. With that said, though, I think the south breeze will help us out with the temperature department, at least a little bit more than it could today. 45 to start in the morning, 53 by lunchtime. I think we can get afternoon highs to about 57. Then as we advance the future track into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, the next system passes on by. Some of us will see some rain chances as we go into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Once we get past Wednesday morning, we're quiet for the rest of Wednesday with highs again back near 57. 50 degrees to start with 62 for an afternoon high on Thursday, our first official day of winter. And hopefully you all enjoy that mild Thursday because once our first system rolls in on Friday, that will really bring the Arctic air back in here. Have a look at the coming weekend. 37 on Saturday, maybe 32 
on Christmas Eve with at least that possibility of some snow trying to work in. And it just looks downright cold for Christmas Day with maybe 11 degrees to start in the morning and afternoon highs only in the mid-20s. Have a good night. Have a great Tuesday.